I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will discuss few examples of geometric distribution. Normally in geometric distribution we are looking for number of trials before a specific outcome occurs. That is the key to geometric distribution. Let me start with an example. Let us say we toss a coin and we want to figure out or we want to see when a head appears and we are waiting for waiting for head to appear now the waiting period could be zero you may get head in the first toss it could be one if you get it in the second toss it could be two if you get it in the third toss and so on right so so what you see here in such examples is that for a specific outcome, in this case we are waiting for head to come, we may have to wait, right? So if that is the case, normally it will be a geometric distribution. There are a few other pointers which are that we should have only two options, uh, success and failure for example. So in such we have only two options. Two options will be kind of success and failure, whether head appears or it does not appear. You get an idea, right? Success or failure. So we have only two options. And also, just as we had in the Bernoulli's trials, the probability of the event in each trial remains same, right? Probability. of I may say success or failure right or failure whatever the case may be remains same in each trial so in that case we are looking for a geometric distribution so let's continue with this example so what I'll do here is kind of make a table and we'll put waiting period in our first column. Okay. So in the first column, let me write down waiting period or unsuccessful toss. Right. So you can write unsuccessful toss or you can write waiting period. Waiting time trial waiting number of trials correct and then let's look into the probability of each now if you get head in the very first trial then the waiting period is zero right so since you get head in the first trial the waiting period is zero and what is the probability of getting head it is half correct so so in this ex experiment, we know we have two outcomes. We are treating success as we are treating success as heads, whose probability is half in each trial. So, so Q, which is a failure, will be one minus half, which is also half for our example. Now, if the waiting period is one, that is to say we kind of get this is like first toss is head right then we get tails and then we get head that is waiting period of one right so in this case what happens you first get tails these are independent events right so what we have here is uh, we have independent events all should be independent events so their probabilities can get multiplied. Is it okay? So for tails, the probability is failure for head, which is half. And then, then you get head, right? So then you get head. Now, if the waiting period is two, that is to say that twice you get tail and then you get head. In that case, it will be half times half. This is for the tails and then half for the heads. Is it okay? Similarly, it just goes on. So if we get 
tail, tail, tail and head. That means you waited for three times. And so you get half, 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 and then half. Is that okay? So what you find here is that the probability is kind of increasing in geometric fashion. I should say decreasing. Uh, I mean, it is half, right? And then it is half square. Then it is half cube. And then it is half to the power of four. So that is the geometric progression where each time it gets multiplied by a factor which is less than one, which in this case is half. So what do you note here is that <clears throat> if you plot the distribution, you'll kind of get the data like this. Let us say this represents half for us. That's the probability for success, let's say heads. If you get it in zero weighting, is that okay? And then it is half square, which is one over four, right? So one over four is kind of here. So if your weighting period is one, right? So this is, this is one out of four. And then it is one eighth. one out of eight and then in the third trial is one over sixteenth and so on do you see that ultimately you will notice that this could go on forever since we may not get any head for example theoretically it may go forever so that kind of a distribution which you see is a geometric distribution so that is what we're looking for so this is an example of geometric distribution. Now what is the expectation of getting ahead in this case? So you could find different values to find expectation of getting ahead in number of trials, right? So we could actually also calculate the expected value of getting ahead in, in let's say one, two, three, four, four trials, right? So these are four trials. So we could say we could also calculate expected value of expectation, xv, a random variable which is getting ahead, correct, will be some of these, some of these, so that is basically x times p of x, where x changes from 0 to 3, right, so these three values, so in our case if we want to say what is the expected value for head to appear in in third trial that is to say we get three tails and then a head in that case we can multiply all this and add them up correct so the x value changes from 0 to 3 and we can calculate this expectation so you can multiply 0 by half 1 by this and then add them up to get the value right <clears throat> so what we get here is for the first value to 0 times half plus 1 times 1 over 4 plus 2 times 1 over 8 plus 3 times 1 over 16, right? So that is the value. We can use calculator to figure it out, right? So it is 1 over 4, so 1 divided by 4 plus 2 divided by 8 is also 1 over 4, right? So plus 1 divided by 4 it is half plus 3 over 16, 3 divided by 16, which is 11 over 16. So we get 11 over 16 in this case, or decimal equivalent of 0 0.6875. So expecting head in waiting time of 3 is 68%. You get an idea, right? It's around 69%, you can see. But the idea here is to share with you that in cases where waiting periods are involved, we have an experiment which has two options, success or failure, and each event is independent where the probability of success remains constant. 
in that case we are looking for a geometric distribution correct now we'll take a few examples where we'll find the probabilities geometric distribution and expectancy and we'll research more on this i'm anil kumar i hope that brief description helps you to understand the topic thank you and all the best right